trestle trouble at the HRBT. It's a problem for planners on a multi-billion dollar expansion project. Officials say the trestles underneath the existing westbound bridge are deteriorating and it's going to cost millions to replace them. And your side's Chris Horn did a little digging today. And Chris, the big question now is who is going to pay for all of this? Well, it's going to be one of two possibilities, either local money or state money, and that's the problem. $400 million to do this maintenance and upgrades. It's only about 10% of that $4 billion overhaul for the expansion of the HRBT. VDOT calls it critical, though, this upgrade that's needed, so the money has to come from somewhere. Okay, it's a big elephant. The board chairman for the Hampton Roads Transportation Planning Organization wants a road map to about $400 million. That's what's needed for maintenance on the westbound lanes above the water on the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel. We have spent every penny we've got. VDOT's district engineer says the trestles need to be maintained and upgraded. These facilities were built back in 1957. It's critical that we get them replaced. The $3.7 billion expansion of the HRBT, the biggest project in the Commonwealth and among the biggest in the country, is set to be contracted next spring. But planners need to find the money for upgrading what's already there. Yeah, that's your problem. <laughs> Fix it. And, and, and we want our money to stay here. State Senator Frank Wagner says the pot of money created four years ago by the Hampton Roads Transportation Accountability Coalition is supposed to be used for new projects, not maintenance. It's absolutely critical over the next couple of months that, that, that we ensure that we do everything we can to keep our money that is raised here locally in play for purposes of planning future transportation projects. In the meantime, VDOT does do ongoing inspections and maintenance on the span and insists that it is safe. There is no limit, mm -hmm. you know, no limitation on those trestles mm -hmm. right now. So they are safe for motorists to, to use. Well, that's reassuring. And the chair of the Transportation Planning Organization called on our state lawmakers to find the $400 million that's needed. VDOT says it's confident those funds will be located soon. And we can expect to see activity on that larger expansion project by late next year. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.